The message is God promised eternal life to us. God promised us eternal life. In eternity so long, so you better figure out where you're headed to. Tell me short, and here is forever. God promised eternal life to those who love him and accept his plan of salvation. Possession of eternal life is a mean by response to his son, Jesus Christ. Those who love Jesus inherit eternal life. Those who believe, those who submit, those who obey, get heaven instead of hell. The Gospel of John shows us how to be saved. The letter first of John does forgive us, send to those who are saved. In 1 John chapter 2, verse 25, and this is the promise that He has promised us eternal life. In this letter, John tells us that His purpose of writing so that we might know that we we'll have eternal life. In 1 John chapter 5, Verse 11 to 13. And this is the testimony that God has given us eternal life. And this life is in His Son. He who has His Son has life. He who does not have the Son of God does not have life. This is a little to you who believe in the Son of God that you may know, that you may know that you have eternal life. You can be sure about your eternal life if you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. He guarantees you eternal life. Not maybe, not so so. The Bible says that you may know, that you may know that you have eternal life, and this eternal life is in the name of Son Jesus Christ. Outside Jesus Christ, you have no eternal life. Here I wait you. This message is for you, not to which may consign. God has promised us eternal life, and this life is in His Son, Jesus Christ. There are four possibilities related to this promise. Number one, to be lost and know that you are lost. That is a tragedy. Number two, to be lost, to be lost and think you are saved. That is dangerous. Number three, to be saved and not sure for it. That is unsettling. Number four, to be saved and know that you are secure. That is comforting. John tell us why you read the gospel. In John 20, verse 31. But this is a written that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God. That by believing that you may have life in his name. Eternal life is in the person of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is an eternal life. And only Jesus Christ, you, my friend, can have everlasting life. Outside Jesus, you are not saved. In Jesus, you have everlasting life. Because this everlasting life is in the person of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Eternal life is a gift given by the Savior. The salvation depends upon what the Lord Jesus Christ has done for me. If you have this gift, you have it eternally. Because God let us start a project that it does not finish. The Bible speaking unto Jesus is the author and finisher for our faith. Friend, if you are saved by the Savior, you will be saved. Will the same for all eternity forever? If God save you, you cannot lose your salvation because it depends on God. If you save yourself, you can lose it because it depends on you. Salvation is entirely secure. If God did the saving, pray, sin pays, and has consequences. And the ultimate consequence is death. For the Bible says the worship of sin is death. If you want eternal life, it's a gift given to us by God through His Son, 
Jesus Christ, the kind of thing that for us, that through it, we may have everlasting life. If you never really accepted Jesus as a Savior, I would like you to do so now. Do not delay or put it off. If you write on a secret by faith, I want you to make a prayer like this in your heart. Lord, Lord, I know that I'm a sinner. I know I'm a sinner. That I deserve hell. That I deserve hell. But I believe. Well, I believe you are the Son of God. You are the Son of God. That you shed your blood on the cross. That you shed your blood on the cross. To the perfect sacrifice for my sin. To the perfect sacrifice for my sin. I believe that you are buried. I believe that you are buried. That you rose again on the third day. That you rose again on the third day. Please come into my heart. Please come into my heart. I accept you today. I accept you today. As my Lord. As my Lord. And personal Savior. And personal Savior. I'm trusting in you alone. I'm trusting in you alone. To bring me to heaven when I die. To bring me to heaven when I die. I thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. For saving me. For saving me. In your name I pray. In your name I pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God.